Hey guys, so this is not the video I thought that I would be making for you guys next at all, but it's very necessary and this is my outlet and you guys know how much I love Taylor and I've had enough. So this is a letter to Scott Borchetta and Scooter Braun and I'm going to speak my mind and I'm first going to read what what's going down i'm gonna give you guys a little backstory if you're clicking on this and you're like what the heck pretty much um taylor is not with big machine records anymore where she started um scott borchetta sold <sighs> big machine for a lot of money and sold taylor's music for a lot of money to scooter braun someone who has manipulated taylor and bullied taylor for years and Taylor thought that Scott Borchetta had her back even when she was leaving Big Machine and he stabbed her in the back and sold her hard work to her enemy, her bully. Now, Taylor has always been the type of person who is the sweetest. I have met her personally and she is the kindest soul. I want to share a little bit of my story so Scott Borchetta can hear, and Scooter Braun also, can hear from my lips why Taylor's old songs mean the world to me and why I enjoy hearing old songs. So hi, my name's Rachel and I have been a Taylor Swift fan since the Fearless era. Ever since I heard Love Story and saw the music video, I have been obsessed with Taylor and her music has always meant the world to me. I found her when I was little and I wasn't really accepted in school and I would I just always remember coming home from elementary school and listening to songs like A Place in This World, Invisible, The Outside, and gravitating towards her music because someone understood me. I'm sitting here, I'm 20 years old now and I'm in college, I'm a sophomore studying media communications and I just wanted to say that I have never felt more sound in having Taylor in my life than I do. Every day when I wake up, I love her more. I find a new way to love her more. But the point of this is, I dearly am asking you, face to face, I wanted to make a video so you could see my face. I'm not hiding behind a screen. I am showing you my expression. Please let Taylor sing her old songs and you know, they represent different stages of my life. Speak Now, I remember being so little and making home videos to her music and I, it was just like the happiest time. I remember putting on my my pink rain boots and a floral like skirt and totally mismatching but parading down the aisle at Macy's to buy Wonderstruck and like playing Enchanted in the back of my mind. I remember all those years that I wanted to meet Taylor and Enchanted being in the back of my mind saying one day I'm gonna be Enchanted that I actually met her. Red came out and I went to the tour. I also went to Speak Now. Um, but I have just created so many memories with these albums and now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, I'm getting really emotional because and a Taylor Swift album is not just another release for me. It's a stage in my life, and I have always been crazy about her. And I remember when 1989 came out, I was in Nashville, and I heard Shake It Off for the first time, and I remember saying, this is my era. I'm going to make it my mission to meet Taylor. And she found me online, and she, out of the goodness of her heart, sent me Christmas presents. I'm one of the Christmas girls and I can't believe I get to say that. It's going to be five years in December. I still can't believe I get to say that. Um, she went out of her way to thank me for how loyal I've been and how grateful she is and how much I brighten her day and you know I made it my mission to <laughs> make a change and to finally get to hug her and tell her thank you for everything she did for me. So I'm sitting here and getting choked up because I would so love for Taylor to have some sound decision and not to be told to be quiet. 
I want her to be able to sing her old stuff. And every single Taylor Swift song means the world to me, and I can't imagine me not being able to hear those songs live again, or at least until next year. Taylor's worked incredibly hard. She's artist of the decade, which is incredible on so many levels, like on the levels of Michael Jackson. And like, there, she's just accomplished so much. And I don't know what it would be without her old songs. I love Lover with all my heart because it's the first thing that she's owned herself. And it's truly hers and it's truly her piece of art but everything should be her piece of art because she was the one who wrote those lyrics who woke up <laughs> from a dream and wrote um those that dream that she had or a sound in her dream into a song you didn't do that she did you were just the one backing her i'm gonna put that in nice quotes okay now i'm getting mad because you manipulated her to the point where when she was ready to spread her wings and fly, <laughs> which she was smart, um, <laughs> she was betrayed. And now she can't sing any of her old stuff. And I think that's such a poor excuse on how to run the music industry. You know what? It would be more of a power move <laughs> if you would let her sing her old stuff and if you agreed to it instead of being manipulative, a bully, harassing her online, and literally putting everything that she has ever worked on, like, just, you might as well, like, shove it in the dirt. Like, how disrespectful, honestly. I couldn't imagine being that disrespectful. You work with so many amazing other artists. I am a huge fan of Ariana Grande, which Scooter Braun works with, and I... I feel so sorry for her that she's trapped and that's probably what it feels like. I don't want to get into that because I do love Ariana with my whole heart and I don't want to throw her into this unless she chooses to on her own. But I'm just saying I hate to see artists under his wing because it just puts a bad taste in my mouth. I don't know who I'm more upset at, Scooter or Scott. I think I'm more upset. Ooh, I can't even answer it. I would say Scooter, but I think it might be Scott because Taylor was Taylor believed in him. She literally helped him start Big Machine Records. Like he signed her. She was the first one on the record label. Where would he be without her? Nowhere. And they're going absolutely nowhere with manipulating her and taunting her and honestly it's just for a headline at this point my knee is shaking i'm so mad <laughs> i'm trying to stay calm but it's really difficult um to know that she can't sing any of the hard work that she's put into this last decade except for the songs off lover until next year and that just breaks me i don't know even, I don't even know what to say. I'm literally so upset. Um, after everything Taylor's done for me, every up and down roadblock that she's been there for me, there's no way that I'm just going to sit back and watch two manipulative bullies manhandle the songs that have helped me through literally every emotion I have ever felt. I've never, I, I just, I, at this point I'm at a loss for words. I don't even know where I would be if it wasn't for her music. I don't know what kind of person I would be right now. Um, and to think that she's literally having those precious songs that she's poured her heart and soul into yanked away from her wrecks me. Wrecks me beyond anything I could really say. And 
I'm just sitting here so flabbergasted that somebody would literally tell somebody else that they can't perform their own art. That makes me so beyond upset. It makes me so beyond upset that they think that they can control something that they didn't even do just so they can have more money in their bank account. Imagine having your diaries literally in the hands of someone else. I don't know if I don't know if they have kids, but imagine your daughter working on the hardest school project and then all of a sudden somebody yanks it out of their hands and takes credit for it. That's literally what's going on here and I've never felt more sick to my stomach over something. I I don't know. But what I am going to say to you guys, um, I have 353 subscribers as of right now. And I believe that you guys listen to me. <laughs> maybe sometimes, maybe I ramble too much, but you guys know how much I love Taylor. And if you've subscribed to me because of that, you probably feel the same way I do. If you don't, if you happen to run across this video, Please know that, like, even if you're not, like, Taylor's biggest fan, that, like, imagine having the song, oh, my phone fell. Imagine having, like, songs that you listened to in, like, 2010 fall into the hands of somebody like that, who's bullying someone you care about so much. I literally love Taylor as a best friend, as everything you could ever think of and I will defend her if you guys could tweet I stand with Taylor at Scott Borchetta at Scooter Braun just make your voices heard so so much she Taylor puts her whole heart and soul into everything that she does and now she can't even put her old stuff into this Netflix documentary. She can't even go on a stage after working for a decade. 13 years, exactly. And sing the songs that made her who she is and made me a fan. <sighs> she can't even, I can't imagine. I feel so bad for her. I feel like she feels trapped and I feel trapped. Like, cause I don't want to go stream her old stuff. <laughs> I have some vinyls that I bought off her website and Target and stuff. So that's what we're going to have to listen to because there's no way that I could ever with a clear conscience sponsor them or think that I gave them one cent of my hard-earned money. I can't. I just, I can't. I literally can't. One thing I'm very grateful for, and this is my closing point, I'm very grateful for the bond Taylor has created with us. And I know that nobody, no one could ever take that away from us. There's a, my, one of my favorite songs by Taylor is Dancing With Our Hands Tied. And there's a line that says, I loved you in spite of deep fears that the world could divide, would divide us. So baby, can we dance through an avalanche? Like, that song is off reputation. And that song is owned by Scooter Braun.
And it's got more shut out. A song that it's so beautifully written and it's so how I'm feeling right now about my relationship with Taylor. Like it's gravity keeping you with me. <laughs> Truly. Th this is an unbreakable bond. Taylor, if you're watching this, just know that you and I are unbreakable. Us, we've got you. We understand you and I love you and I have your back and I'm going to do everything I can. I wouldn't be sitting here in front of a camera literally choked up if I wasn't gonna fight for you with everything that I have in me um oh my gosh she can't even sing old stuff at Jingle Ball when I see her on her 30th birthday oh my god oh my god or at the AMAs where she's getting literally artist of the freaking decade Scott Borchetta Scooter Braun, if you're watching this, please see the expression on my face. Please see how upset I am. Please rethink what you're doing. This isn't just manipulating Taylor. This is literally manipulating fans, too. And I'm at a loss for words. I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted by what you're promoting. I can't imagine being under your wing. So, on this closing note, I just wanted to say, please make your voice heard. When I'm passionate about something, I'll speak about it, <laughs> and I'm passionate about this. Please, please, please make your voice heard, and please do anything you can. Even if you send out a tweet to them, let them know how you feel. I am going to do everything I can. I don't even know where to start. But this is a start, so I should stop saying that because I'm making my voice heard. I love you guys so much. Um, Taylor has posted stuff all over her social medias, which is Taylor Swift and Taylor Swift 13. If you guys want her full post, that's where you can see it. Um, I can't believe we're doing this again with Scooter Braun. <sighs> But combat, I'm ready for combat. Okay. I love you guys so much. Um, this isn't entertaining, but I do hope I see you in the next video. I love you guys. Please reconsider Scott Borchetta. Oh, and if you're watching the Scott Borchetta or Scooter Braun, I don't love you. That was for, like, my subscribers and, like, if Taylor was watching this or, like, Tree or Andrea or somebody... That wasn't for you. You two are excluded from my love. Um, okay, bye guys. See you in the next one.